Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Don't mind me, I just have to finish my book really quick, but um, roll the credits. I don't know what that skit was. <laughs> I really do gotta finish my book though. I'm working on trying to romanticize my life, truly in any way that I can, but not the kind of romanticizing that would make me that girl, but the kind of romanticizing that reinforces the idea of wearing a nice outfit for my evening stroll. And it's probably like 70 degrees outside, but that's fine because this is what matters. This is the full look. Uh, oh my golly, Gina, why are you sweating? I'm not even gonna lie, like it doesn't even fully match and it is a bit, it's like a bit dramatic. Today's the first day of fall. Thank you. Mm, maybe getting a little bit too excited. Oh my God. It's like trying so hard for a main character moment that's just so heavily constructed as a side character. I'm absolutely the best friend and that's fine. But you have to own that. <laughs> to be fair, I honestly feel instantly more confident. I did change my shirt, by the way. It was making me sweat profusely, and I was standing at my foyer. I don't have a foyer, but you know what I mean. Anyways, it's like these little tiny moments, these little tiny ways that you could make yourself just feel that much better about your day. Like maybe you can control nothing else, but you could do your makeup that morning, and instantly you're gonna feel a little bit more like yourself be a little bit more confident in some way or maybe it's just your aura maybe it's the coffee you had this morning i don't know like it's those little tiny moments speaking of romanticizing this whole walk is sponsored by fleet foxes well that's what i'm listening to i'll repeat can i just say i decorated for fall last night and it quite literally changed the trajectory of my 2021 i get very bored of my space about every like two months. I'll change everything. I'll buy new paintings. I'll switch up the furniture. I'll just, I don't know, like breathe new life into my environment. Like I think it's kind of embedded in who I am because my mom did that all the time growing up. And there's just something so beautiful about decorating for the holidays. I don't care what holiday it is. It could be Arbor Day. We're putting up trees, but I'm going around like trying to decorate things. And I have like just little knickknacks, nothing that serious it's probably all from the dollar section my entire life sponsored by the dollar section and i'm acting like i'm joanna Gaines, like as if i have some sort of interior design touch as if i know what i'm doing but everything just comes down to confidence you know i'm tired of pretending like i don't know what i'm doing i know exactly what i'm doing i romanticized the heck out of my night last night always have to do a quick teeth check you know before i just start talking i've done that before i've recorded an entire clip looked in the viewfinder afterwards like a big hunk of lettuce or something, lovely. I always reserve my weekends for my rest days. It's just like, I don't know, the way that I try to relax the most instead of thinking, oh, I still have to go to the gym today, even though it's Saturday, even though I just want a potato all day long. Healthy reminder that on days when you are supposed to take a rest day, but you have the energy to go do your workout, go do your workout. Similarly, the complete opposite. On days when you don't want to go do your workout, make it your rest day. Just be diligent about when you take your time off and when you don't, but listen to the body. It's like one of the most overrated statements because I think it gets said so much that we get desensitized to what it actually means. But are you listening to your body? I'm asking, this is like a Dora the Explorer, you answer, I ask type segment. Are you listening to your body? You are? Are you taking your rest days? You're not? You think you have to work out seven times a week? No! Listen to your body. <laughs> now I know what you're probably thinking. Taylor, this is the strangest morning routine video that I've ever seen. And if you are thinking that, then yes, you would be correct. Quite literally, my day does truly get started at 5 p.m. I don't wake up at 5 p.m. but the only time I see Keith is when we wake up which is like 1 p.m. until he leaves which is about 5 p.m. so in actuality I don't get anything done like my day literally doesn't start until he leaves. So I start my day off by going on a little walk with Reese and then as much as I don't want to I like take my energy and I force myself to go to the gym. I love going to the gym, but sometimes it's like, 
And then, you know, like you go for, let's say 30, 45 minutes and somehow it turns into a two hour activity because you have to get ready. You got to drive there. You got to get to the gym. You got to work out. Then you got to come home. You got to shower. Maybe you got to eat. And all of a sudden it's like 9 p.m. I'm like, great. Thank you so much for uh, taking my entire day. But I'm doing a leg day workout today and I'm actually in the mood for it, which is the rarest statement you might ever hear me say ever. I literally feel ridiculous when I have my tripod and I try and record myself because it just looks like I don't know what I'm doing. But I just want to show you this little set. I'm never a set girl. I am never the one that prioritizes getting sports bras because I just don't care. That kind of goes along with my whole like concept of being not confident enough to just wear a sports bra. So why invest in them if nobody's really looking like yada, yada, yada. But this one is really stinking cute. It's from Fabletics. Did I already say that? It's like this cute little Earth Day moment, but we'll see how she actually does. And I'm usually really picky when it comes to leg day workout clothes, specifically leggings, of course, because you want to make sure it's squat proof and not even just squat proof, but you know, like when the leggings just don't feel like they fit the length of your quads or your butt or just something feels like constricted in the wrong way. Like it felt like it was designed for a leg that was longer or shorter than yours. That to me like cannot happen on a leg day. Truly any day, honestly, I'm like out the door, goodbye. I send it back. Also, if you thought I was going to the gym like that, you thought wrong. Also, also, I go on so many tangents. I got a comment the other day that somebody was like, don't you feel like she's a little bit distracted sometimes when she talks? I was like, yes, sir, it's called ADHD. Oh my God, and of course I don't remember what I was going to say. Fudge! Oh my God, it's gone. Oh, I remember. Oh my God, this is so sad. Reese now hears my Velcro shoes and knows that she has to go lay down because I'm leaving. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Oh, look. You think I'm leaving? I'm sorry. Oh, she lays down in the bathroom whenever we leave the house. So she's just learned. I didn't even tell her that I was leaving, but now I think she hears the Velcro on my shoes, which kind of sounds dorky, but as I was saying, oh my God, the thing I forgot, I just started my period. So that was graceful. All this week, I'm like, oh, I've been a little bit tired. I'm getting a little bit of acne, but I think it's just from wearing my mask, whatever. I've been feeling like a little bit lackluster in the motivation department, but I didn't even think about it. I wasn't even thinking. It's actually kind of sad if I really think about that because I feel like the entirety of the summer, I was constantly not necessarily planning my life around my period, but it, it was always on my mind. Like, okay, if this is gonna happen during that time, then I know this is how I'm going to feel or this is how I'm going to maybe respond physically. Like I get really bloated, I get acne, etc. So I feel like that just goes to show how much more one social I am during the summertime, but also two, how much more I probably think about my body aesthetically during the summer and then how much my period affects that. It's actually like kind of sad and sour and I hate that that consumes my mind because one, obviously it's natural and two, there's literally nothing I can do about it. And three, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, when you're on your period, you're the one, you're, you're the one that notices all of those things. Like you think that you have wild, bad breakouts or you think that you're moody or you know, all the stuff when I'm sure almost nobody notices. I hate that. Like, why are we our own biggest critics? It stinks that we just, you know, we ourselves live rent free in our own mind. Rude. <laughs> Let's go, I'm procrastinating. <laughs> Actually, for like, what is this color scheme? I'm kind of embarrassed by it, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter, but I feel like a Powerpuff girl. I don't know. So I quickly realized this outfit very much gives off Grinch vibes, Grinch energy, big Grinch energy. And I wanted to put in, you know, how the Grinch stole Christmas music, but I don't really want to get copyrighted. So please enjoy this Christmas style selection instead. I haven't done front squats in forever, so I'm trying to ease my way back into it.
Such a sweaty mess. Um, just got back, but look what came in the mail. You literally can't tell, but it's the new Gymshark Times Whitney Simmons version three collection that my order just came in. I obviously haven't opened it yet. If you saw my Instagram stories, you might know that I really wasn't thinking about ordering from it because I think I've mentioned this in a video or two before. I look. Wow. I wasn't the biggest fan of the pieces that I got from the second collection. The first one was better. I didn't feel like this utter urge to purchase from it. So I was kind of holding back <laughs> until I kind of did a thorough search of the catalog because I didn't watch anybody's videos, reviews, etc., of it. But I looked onto the website. I decided that I really, really loved her, I think it's called a cropped tank, but to me it looked like a longer version of a sports bra or something that I could feel actually comfortable wearing in the gym. And that's my favorite type of top that actually makes me feel confident. So I wanted to give that a try. And then of course she says on her story, like once it's gone, it's gone. So I'm like, well, golly gee. And I wanted the brown so stinking badly. So I'm sweaty right now, obviously, and normally I'd wait, you know, change, try this on when I'm better, but I wanna wash these anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Let's just do a try on haul now. This is so exciting. Ah! Beautiful. So I grabbed three pieces. Two are the exact same. I grabbed one white and one brown of the cropped tank. And then I think I grabbed the high-waisted brown leggings. All right, I laid them out. I just pulled them out of the bag. I just wanted to show you really quick. So these are obviously the same. They're both padded. They do have nice detailing. I know that's kind of like Whitney's signature thing. And I know a lot of people weren't a big fan of these gold plates, but I don't really mind them. They looked a little bit weirder on the front of the leggings and the shorts, but I don't mind it on the top. Back looks like this cute little like flattering razor back. It does feel really delicate, but super soft. I know a lot of people compare them to Lululemon Aligns, but I don't. I don't think you can really compare them. It doesn't feel the same to me, but it does have that buttery softness. And then these are the leggings. These are again, the high rise with the gold plate right here. These are so wrinkled, but it does look like there is this little ruching on the booty and then this kind of half heart-shaped contouring of sorts. I also just pulled these out for comparison. This is the same legging in the version one. So you can see that she's definitely kind of upgraded and made a few small minor changes. I don't really know what the purpose of this was, but whatever, gone now. Um, there wasn't ruching before, but still had that same little contouring. And then honestly, from the front, they look nearly identical to me. Same little gold plating, although this one's like just kind of standard font. And this one, if you can see, has her signature on it, or I don't know, it's in cursive. And then on the inside, it has the exact same little, it's a beautiful day to be alive phrase, which is kind of an embossed raised font right here. So pretty stinking similar. With with these ones, it is always a hassle to get them over my thighs and past my bum. So I'm interested to see how these ones fit. Oh my God, the thought of putting on leggings on my sweaty body right now, it's gonna be a minute. <laughs> okay, admittedly, my expectations were pretty low, but this is really stinking cute and my tag is showing. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I just never really felt the most confident in the last pieces, but first of all, the top is so, beyond comfortable. A lot of the girls were saying to size down, like some of the other Gymshark athletes. And I was like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting an extra small, like it's it's not happening. But now I can kind of understand why, like it does have a little bit of looseness to it. And down here, uh, it does feel like maybe after a few wears, I could see it kind of losing that elasticity. Maybe, maybe. It does feel super high quality, so I'm not super concerned, but it's just such a light material. I don't think it has that same kind of notorious Gymshark compression, which I normally don't really love. So this is kind of a good thing. But anyways, um, if you're in between sizes, I actually would say to go down on the top. The leggings feel very true to size to me. Reese, if you could please move away from the stage. Thank you so much. These are pretty dang good. I am very impressed. The inside is like this nylon-y material. It kind of feels like tights, which were the same as some of her other ones, but I feel more comfortable and flattered in these. It obviously cinches in at the waist, but not so much where I feel like I'm constricted or uncomfortable. So 
I'm really, really liking the fit of these. They're super flattering on the butt. Not gonna lie, I was looking at some of the pictures from the event and I'm just thinking, wow, these, these peaches out in Georgia, okay? Okay. And now I'm sort of realizing it's the contouring on these leggings. Like they, they do you good favors, let me tell ya. And you don't need me to tell you that this brown is so stinking cute. The only thing I would kind of note is that it, because it's so delicate, I can see the wrinkles from the packaging and whatnot, so I can easily see possibly, like maybe it's showing my sweat. Here's the top, the razor back from the backside. I don't know y'all, like I said, pretty low expectations, but super happy with this color, this cut, and I'm glad I gave her a chance. You know, third time really was a charm. They did so much better with the restock, the actual amount of clothing, like they finally realized she's a very big creator and a lot of people want to buy her things. Kind of just like all of the other launches and the other fitness influencers that they've collaborated with. So love that they're finally doing it right. Now, just for contrast, this is the white. I think you can kind of see what I was talking about a little bit more here because it is a fainter color, but you can kind of see like where the padding is and where there might just be like a little bit of wrinkles. This little back panel too, I think it says it's recycled polyester. It is completely, completely see-through. So if you don't like that, just something to note, but I don't think it's that bad because there's padding and I, I like it. I don't mind, but you know, if you don't have something like perfectly folded and it gets one slight little crease in it, I think that you could definitely see that with both of these tops and probably the leggings too. Or this kind of action right here. Like, like you can see that there's a crinkle in this pad and it just, it shows up. That's totally fine. Like obviously I just ripped it out of the package. It's not gonna be perfect. It's going to need to be washed anyways. Hang dry, of course, but I don't know, just be really careful when you're folding it. <laughs> I feel good in this. I genuinely feel so good. It kind of almost just forms to your skin and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing leggings or a top. It just is, you know? Is that like a universal feeling or am I making that up? I don't know, but you know when something just fits you so well, you almost don't even notice it, that's what's happening. Obviously I can't speak to the other pieces because these are the only ones that I was interested in getting, but I'm really glad that these are the ones that I got because I just wasn't a fan of some of the other collections. However, that's why you have multiple pieces. Like I'm sure somebody doesn't like both of these totally fine, but if you didn't like any of the pieces from the first or second collection and there still is inventory, I would say give this a fair chance. I don't know, but uh, Wit, you did pretty good this time. <laughs> okay, now this is when things start to get a little bit weird with my schedule. <laughs> I just showered. It's literally midnight right now, so everything makes sense. I go ahead and do like my nighttime skincare routine because I'm obviously not leaving the house anymore, which honestly for me is just toner, sometimes retinol, moisturizer, done. But this is the weird part. I put on jeans. <laughs> I've essentially realized that I am the type of person that needs to be wearing like something at least nicer to be productive. I can kind of get some good work in in sweats, but if I'm in pajamas, if I'm just not in that right state of mind, it doesn't work well for me. So if I have things to do, I need to be wearing an outfit of sorts. <laughs> I'm pretty certain like a portion of that is like some common psychology, etc. Don't stare at my messy apartment as I'm walking. <laughs> I'm gonna clean tonight. That's why I put on the outfit. This is what happens when I come home from the gym. This is kind of like how ravenous I start to get. I grab everything I can. Now, after just coming back from the gym, one of the best things that I love to do for myself is nourish my body, of course, because I come home and most of the time I can't do anything until I eat. Like I can't even think about showering. I can't, I can't think about activities until there's food in my body. So the easiest way for me to do that is making one of my all time favorite meals, the sponsor for today's video, Green Chef. Woohoo! I love Green Chef so much. <laughs> first and foremost, first thing to know is that it's absolutely delicious. Secondly, Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well, easy, and affordable with plans to fit every kind of lifestyle. They have dishes for a variety of lifestyles, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. Green Chef offers contactless delivery to your doorstep for easy home cooking. And with their high variety of high quality clean ingredients, like their organic non-GMO, sustainably sourced produce, you can feel good about what you're eating and how it got to your table. Or in my case, like my mini little Amazon coffee circle. I don't even have a table. Literally the best part of my night and I love coming home from a workout, fueling myself with this food and knowing that I'm getting so much good macro, micronutrients, vitamins, like 
You'd love to see it. Go to greenchef.us and use code TAYLOR100 to get $100 off plus free shipping on your first box. A hundred stinking dollars. A hundred stinking dollars. Again, go to greenchef.us, use code TAYLOR100 to get $100 off plus free shipping on your first box. Thank you so much to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video and sponsoring my very hungry appetite post gym. Well, as weird as it is, this is my fall morning routine. Honestly, the only thing I'm really missing for my day is some soup. Soup season, everybody? Maybe some type of pumpkin item. I'm thinking tomorrow morning, I'm gonna make some pumpkin rolls. This is the tea of choice for the evening. This is a nice staple that I usually get from Trader Joe's. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I know it's not your typical that girl morning routine, all right? But if there's anything I've learned from my numerous, very, very drastically different morning routines that I've done on YouTube, it's that you can't be comparing yourself to these people that we don't even really know on the internet, sharing just a glimpse of their edited morning routine, showing you the highlights, etc. Even right now, like I'm showing you the highlights. How natural is it for me to be standing in my kitchen talking to a camera? It, it actually isn't. So I never want you to feel anything other than joy and happiness and a renewed energy for life after watching one of my videos. Don't ever compare what I'm doing to your routine. You know, we're all so different and that's beautiful. That's not a bad thing. But maybe you can just have a nice little laugh at this 5 p.m. routine. Honestly, and I mean this genuinely, couldn't do it without you.